A great plague has swept the land, and the first question on people's lips is what will happen to the Mole Valley Arts Alive Festival this year. Well, I can tell you. The cunning organizers have renamed the festival Arts E Live, and it is now a directory on the internet where you will find so many wonderful community arts events and shows including the travesty of Richard the Third that's me Hello and welcome to the Mole Valley Arts Alive launch show for 2020. As you've just heard from Richard III, this year with a little bit of a difference. My name's Dan. And my name's Nicola. And we are from the Surrey Hills Community Radio Sunday Morning Breakfast Show. We've got over 50 events online for you to enjoy throughout the month of October. Comedy, poetry, arts, recitals and much, much more, all from the comfort of your own home. And that applies to tenants too, not just homeowners. Oh, so this is how it's going to be. <sighs> okay, so to get us started, we have a few words from our 2020 Festival Chairman, Mary Huggins. Hello everyone, I'm Mary Huggins and I'm Chairman of Mole Valley Arts Live. Except that this year, it's not Mole Valley Arts A Live, it's Mole Valley Arts E Live, as I'm sure you already know because we've been publicising it rather a lot. It's going to be very different this year, uh, but it's going to be really rather good this year, I think, because it's going to be able to go out to so many more people. You can just sit in your, in your living rooms and watch all the wonderful things that we're going to be doing. We've been working very hard on doing it in the different way that we're, going, we're having to do it this year. And um, it's very exciting indeed. So I want you all to go to the website, Bar Valley Arts Live, Artsy Live, and find out what we're doing and put the dates in your diaries and go and watch them. All that remains for me to tell you is that we've been so lucky this year because we've got Lorraine Kelly as our patron for the whole year. And she's been I've just been talking to her straight from her show in London. So, without any more ado, over to you Lorraine to launch the festival. Hi everybody, I'm Lorraine Kelly and I'm so proud and honoured to be patron of Mo Valley Arts Alive for this year, 2020. What a year it's been, what a strange year, so, so odd, but the show must go on. And of course, we've got all these amazing events online that you'll be able to enjoy. I can't wait. It's such a brilliant, rich, incredible tapestry of all of the arts, and it's just going to be wonderful. So I really hope that you can join us, and I'm so thrilled to declare Mole Valley Arts Alive, it is open! Hurrah! So that's the Mole Valley Arts Alive Festival well and truly off the ground. Thanks to fellow early morning presenter Lorraine for a fantastic introduction. Except we're more like Phil and Holly, surely? Yeah, but they're not married. So Eamon and Ruth? Nicola, tell the good people at home how they can get involved with this year's festival. Okay, so all you need to do is go online to arts-alive.co.uk or arts-elive.co.uk. There you'll find a list of everything you can watch online. All you need is some sort of computer, device, smartphone, iPhone. It's as simple as that. Even Dan could do it. Charming. So, to give you a flavour of what's to come, here are some videos from some of our contributors. My name's Julian Gallant and uh, I'm a pianist, uh, conductor and composer. Um, wonderful to be able to take part in this festival and uh, I'm going to be playing a piece which I consider to be the, one of the greatest pieces ever written for piano by Frédéric Chopin, the Bach Roll, um, and it's available from the 1st of October um, on my YouTube channel. You just go through the site um, and, um, and uh, you can access it. It's free to access, um, but what I've said is that if you felt like 
like it and you enjoyed the performance, you could make a little donation uh, to the Leatherhead Youth Project, um, which is a really, really fantastic project um, in Leatherhead, helping young people um, with their lives. Hello, I'm Alice Bishop and I'm a singer and I'm giving a live concert on Sunday the 18th of October at four o'clock in Leatherhead Methodist Church with my accompanist David Elwin. Tickets can be bought from my website, which is www.alicebishop.co.uk. Hello, I'm Diana. I'm from the Leaves to a Tree Haiku Group. And I would like to tell you that during the month of October, if you come to Leatherhead, between Waitrose and the Leatherhead Theatre, there are four trees, four lime trees, and you will be able to see fluttering from those trees postcards inscribed with haiku written by the members of the Leaves to a Tree Haiku Group. And I hope that you really, really enjoy seeing them and reading them and feeling inspired by them and maybe inspired to write some haiku of your own. So there you go, that's just a little taste of what's to come over the next month. Now we are delighted to be joined by not only our chairman, uh, Mary Huggins, but we're also joined by Mulvey District Council's Arts Development Officer, Claudia. Welcome. And Mary, you got the chance to speak to Lorraine Kelly. I did, and oh, what a lovely lady she is. We had such a great time just chatting and hearing what she felt about Arts Alive, and she's, well, you'll be able to see her online very soon. That interview coming very shortly to you online. Uh, now, Claudia, what is Mole Valley District Council's involvement with, with Arts Alive? So, Mole Valley District Council's been involved with Arts Alive since the inception 24 years ago. Um, obviously the well-being of our residents is of paramount importance and has never been so, so much so. Um, so Mole Valley District Council are really happy to be supporting the festival um, this year and yeah, we're hoping it will be our biggest yet. Well it's certainly going to be one to remember, that is for certain. So the 2020 event, as you've all seen, is a little different this year. What's been the struggles with putting an event online? Well, it's been a huge learning curve because we're not used to doing anything online. It's always absolutely real and happening. Um, but we've all learned a lot and it's been, it's been great to learn how to do it. And yes, it's been a challenge, but a good challenge. And finally, is there anyone else you want to thank? Well, certainly the very, very hardworking committee who've all been trying new things. So thank you, committee. Oh, and Surrey Hills Radio, of course, as well. <sighs> Well, with the Surrey Hills Community Radio, you can listen exclusively online, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they will be hosting a very special Arts Live show every Friday morning from 10 until 12, with interviews, news, and loads of features about this year's festival. And don't forget, you can also tune in to the Sunday Morning Breakfast Show from 8 until 10 every Sunday morning. We'll be live on Facebook. He's often still in his pyjamas. Uh, right, whoa, 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 whoa. Number one, that was the most shameless plug you've ever done. Thank and you. number two, you're always in your dressing gown. Uh, well, we might be in onesies this week, actually. And yeah, here are some more videos. videos. Hi, my name's Darren Cheek. Uh, I'm artistic director of Damn Cheek Productions. Uh, we're performing Tony Earnshaw's new play, Little Brother, on October the 14th on Zoom at 8.15. Uh, we really hope you'd like to join us. And if so, please email us at info at damncheek.co.uk. That's info at damncheek.co.uk. And let us know that you're up for coming to Little Brother. A chilling tale of power. I was once Lancastrian royalty before all this malarkey. Queen Margaret of Anjou. Passion. Blush! Blush! Thou love of foul deformity! And prophecy. You did prophesy that the time would come when I would wish for thee to help me curse that foul bunch back to Jold. Did I? You did, good queen. Tis a thrilling tale of malevolence, foul dissembling eruptions, of oozing, seeping, vile, busting, cagitating, madness, and murder. I'm a murderer and I'm okay, I stab all night under slash all day. Hey up, I'm a murderer. Filmed in isolation, when all were locked down. 
available to view online for the price of just four pounds. So there we have it. We've covered pretty much everything. Thank you everyone for watching and we can't wait for you to join us online for the 50 plus events that we'll be streaming to you on the website. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> Put the cauliflower in before the scroll. Oh, hello. Tim Vine here, and I just want to say Arts E Live in October for the Mole Valley, the whole Mole Valley, and, and you know, other valleys with other animals. It's going to be a fantastic event, lots of events actually. E, that's the key thing, it's E Live, it's all online. Enjoy yourselves. Let's get behind it and in front of it and next to it. <laughs>